If you wait for warm weather, you're going to be too late. Going to talk about ventilation today. But one thing we harp on on this channel is control the things you can control. You can't control how your feed is mixed. You can't control what birds you get. You can't control how long you're going to be out or when you're getting birds, things like that. But there are some things you can control. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about these things. And most of it is maintenance. And we all hate maintenance. But it is the one thing that you can control. So when we're talking about warm weather coming up, we're going to have to think about ventilation. Got to keep those birds cool. And there are two main things that you got to take care of if you're going to keep those birds cool. And that is your fans and your cool cells. If your fans, fans would basically be considered like the heart of that airflow, okay? So that fan is going to pump the blood or the air coming through there. So how are we gonna make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do? Number one, check those belts. I know we harp on that a lot. In fact, we did a video last year, year before, very thorough belt, uh, belt video and pulley video. But belts are something that's very crucial to keeping that fan going. And here we go again. It's not about that belt riding down in it. That belt's got to ride up on top. So what you want to do is check and make sure that your belts are sitting in the pulley like they're supposed to. They will also get thin, they'll get worn, and when they start going down into the pulley, you can lose as much as 25% of airflow by having that pulley reduced. Now, if you take that 25%, let's say you've got six fans in the back of the house. You reduce by 25%, that's almost like, what, four fans maybe, uh, a little less. Would you cut off two fans during the heat, the hot part of the summer? No. So, don't think it matters that much, and you, good enough is never good enough. So, make sure that belt is riding up high on that pulley. And it's also good to keep a few spare belts around for that, for that very reason too. Number two, your pulleys. Your pulleys are also a crucial part because here's a couple of things that can happen. Number one, that pulley starts wearing out and that belt's gonna drop down in there. That pulley should have a V shape. What will happen is that thing will end up wearing those pulleys down to where they're kind of making that V a U. And when that starts riding down in there, now you start losing some of that percentage of that fan turning, which means you're going to lose some airflow. So those pulleys, make sure your pulleys have got a good V, they're not worn, and also alignment. That's one thing that can wear out those belts. And that can come with just a motor getting loose or your pulleys getting loose, is that if those pulleys aren't aligned, and like I said, we go into more in depth on another video, but you've got to keep those pulleys in line or they're going to wear out the belt and now you've got it happening faster. So a couple of things you're going to have to look at. Make sure your belts are riding where they should. Make sure your pulleys are lined up. Make sure that they've got a good V cut into them. Now, if we're talking about airflow, the last two things are going to be keeping your shutters clean and keeping your blades clean. Now, the shutters and the screens that go on the outside of that fan, I mean, that's like, if we're using the illustration of heart and blood, then man, it's like getting, getting your arteries clogged, okay? You get some junk on those screens, you get your shutters to where they're not opening as well, may not be opening all the way because they're dirty, then you're restricting airflow of how much capacity that fan can do. So, keep your shutters clean. Uh, get in there and clean your fan blades too. Um, that can actually reduce the percentage of the flow also. So, making sure that your fan is doing what it's supposed to do by checking your belts, your pulleys, keeping that shutter clean, keeping those blades clean. And then last, those cool cells. The fans are responsible for bringing that air in. Those cool cells, like this, we're kind of in our greenhouse here at the, at the uh, farm, but this is responsible. We, we can't put air conditioners in the, in the chicken house, right? So this is your air conditioner. So you got to keep, you got to take care of these things because as much as the fan is responsible for the flow of the air, these are responsible for the flow of the water. So two things you got to check out, you got to keep clean. Number one, make sure that these are actually clean. There's no 
buildup. Now it's been since last fall since you did this. Are there cobwebs? Are there anything that's going to restrict the flow in there? So you got to clean these. Get mineral deposits off of them. Um, get the bacteria off there. Keep those clean. So we got to keep our cool cells clean. Now you can pressure wash those, but one thing to make sure when you pressure wash, you know these are at an angle. So you kind of want to shoot at an angle with these cool cells. They're going to go like this. If you're going to wash these, Keep them like that right there. Keep them moving in the same angle. So yeah, the cool cells clean. But here's the other thing. What's providing water to these cool cells? So you've got your pipe, you've got your pumps. You wanna make sure those are clean. And the way you can tell whether or not that water is getting where it's supposed to is, when you first cut that on, are we seeing certain spots that are dry on the cool cell? In other words, if we've got a section where that's, where that that flute as they call it, where that pipe that is corrugated has, has the water dripping down. When it drips down, is it covering all of the cool seal? Is all the cool seal getting wet? So you may have some areas where the water's not flowing. You may have a hole that's clogged up. You may have, you know, your sumps haven't been cleaned out so they're getting trash up in there and now your water's not flowing. Um, make sure your pumps are doing what they're supposed to do. So keep that water line clean so you can have a good surface cover of that cool seal because if you're not pulling if you're not pulling air through that wet part of the cool seal you're just restricting airflow you're not getting the cool that's coming through so these are not new things to you guys but it is something you can control and i encourage you to do these things because you wouldn't want to go back 25 percent reduction on any airflow i mean this is the life of your bird so just some things to think about uh, make sure those fans are running check your belts your pulleys clean the shutters clean the fans are your cool cells getting adequate water flow over them so that they can cool too and one last little tip as we enter into this uh, warm weather make sure your generators are working good because i know we think about it in the winter but hey also in the summer maybe every spring every fall check that generator make sure it's ready to go so that if you do have a power outage that generator will kick in and you don't have a bunch of birds overheating. So anyway, hope that helps. If there's anything we can do for you, you got any questions or any content you'd like to see on this uh, channel, give me a call 1-800-608-3755 or email me, alan at southlandorganics.com. Until then, thank you.